Welcome, welcome back to Uploaded and Unfiltered, the podcast in which I, your host, Kryptonite, aka Jermaine, interviews another creator in regards to their content journey thus far. This episode is a solo podcast because I wanted to wish you a happy 2024 and start to show off this year on the right foot. I don't know how everybody else is feeling about this upcoming year, but I am an extremely excited to get started and see what this year holds for not only my career, but my family's well-being, where we're going to be living, all sorts of exciting things. This year, as delusional as possible when it comes to my dreams, when it comes to my mission, when it comes to my purpose in life, I finally figured it out. Like it took 40 years. I guess it didn't take 40 years, but it took some years when I finally started to ask those questions of myself i'm on this earth what am i to do with these god-given talents that i have and i honestly i feel like i finally figured it out and that has been a source of excitement for me for the last couple weeks or so and even up until the first of the year i'm thinking of new ideas new things that i want to implement new things that i want to stand up in order to push my message and push my content further. So it wouldn't be a beginning new year podcast without dropping some knowledge. So the thing that I've been thinking about for a while now, but it's specifically the last couple of days that have solidified how I will start to view this world and how I will start to view things that I am a part of is simply this. Events that happen in our lives are all neutral. Those events do not affect us until we allow it to affect us. Once we assign an emotion and a thought and a process to that event, that is when it's allowed to take hold and do what it needs to do to us. So let's say, for an example, we'll start simple. Let's say I was in high school and I got an F on my report card something simple that is a neutral event as of right now now if you were a a student and you were very hell-bent on getting good grades in school you would look at that situation as negative and probably lose your shit (laughs) or if you was someone with a positive mindset you would look at that and say okay there's some stuff that i need to work on there's something that I miss entirely, let me go back and revisit the work that I've done to see if I can get a better grade. Simple, simple as that. That mindset is what I plan on going with forward in 2024. So for every idea that I come up with, I have started to write them down. Throughout the day, I'll start to flesh those de- those ideas out. And then when it's time to execute, no holds bar. I'm not allowing excuses to stop me. I'm not allowing my procrastination to stop me. I have gotten to the to point where I know that in order to hit my goals, in order to reimagine my current life into the life that I have vision for myself and my family, I need to put in the work. No more excuses. No more, oh, I'll do that tomorrow. There's no better time than now. Like I got to like excuses are a day of the past for me. I'm no longer going to allow myself the safety net of excuses. And to go on top of that, every situation is neutral until I assign purpose to it, until I sign an emotion. And for me, those emotions are going to be thoughts of positivity and learning. That's the only things that I will allow events that happen in my life to do sad like the the events that people usually call sad or tragic anything of that nature again i'm in delusional 2024 land those events will now be things that fuel my growth that help me achieve what i need to achieve again you got to be a little creative for that to to occur but I, i believe in myself and i know my brain is super super amazing so i'm not too worried about it The second pillar that I will be going into, or mindset rather, that I will be going into 2024 with is simply setting my boundaries and making sure my boundaries are being met. 
or being upheld. So my entire life, I have been quick to cut people out of my life who I have seen, who I've deemed to be either negative or not beneficial to my life. And it's been harder to do that more efficiently, not as of late, but just with certain people. But as of 2024, if you're not bringing positive energy into my life, if you are bringing nothing but negative negativity, if every time we talk, you're bringing up something that is negative in nature, then you got to go. Or at the very least, like you will be put into a little box that I will interact with when I need to. But other than that, like I can't have that energy hanging around me, interacting with me because I am very aware of how people think and how they feel. And I don't want to say I'm an empath because I don't really know what that is. So I don't want to label myself with that shit yet. But I feel people's energy. I can tell, even for strangers, I can tell when their energy shifts from happy to sad, from angry to upset, from anxious to joyful. And it's very amazing to have that ability to do that with my family, probably to a fault. They probably get annoyed with it sometimes. But as my wife is as well, we're co-leaders. And when I see something that needs to be changed, I'm going to speak up about it. So that energy is going to be transferred into my content. That energy is going to be transferred into streams. I will no longer sit idle by watching people beat themselves up by talking to themselves negatively or tear other people down by making fun of other groups and shit of that nature. Like that doesn't fly in my reality anymore. So I will construct my reality and my concept that I rock in as such. Now, I cannot wait for it to implement this because to me, it's pretty straightforward. Either you rock with it or you don't. Like if you are so hell bent on being negative, if you need that in your life, like that's cool. You can have that. You just can't have me in your life with it. Simple as that. In my chat, it's going to be the same. It's going to be a lot of people that are going to be upset. They're going to come in. Oh, I had a bad day. And I'm like, hey, that thinks you had a bad day, but that's the last I want to hear of it. Honestly, like I have no earthly need to know about your bad day. I have no desire to know about your dislikes. That does nothing for me. That, have you ever, not that we're on the subject of dislikes, do you have people in your life where you let them know a creative idea you have? You know, I have this series idea I want to do on TikTok. It's X, Y, and Z. Do you have people in your life upon hearing these ideas instantly bring up why it won't work or instantly say, hey, this is why you shouldn't do that? Those type of people or the type of people that you need to excommunicate out your life this year? I'm not even fucking kidding you. And not think of any time when one of my homies came to me and was like, yo, I have this idea for a piece of content and I instantly shit it on it. If anything, I am the, the friend that is constantly talking you into it. It's like, no, you thought of the idea because this idea is amazing. And there's something inside you that knows that you can execute on this idea flawlessly. Lean into that. Breathe life and put energy into that thought. Don't give the thought of, oh, people are going to make fun of it, any energy. Don't give the thought of, oh, I don't actually know how to execute on this idea I want. Don't give that energy. Like, if you come up with an idea and you are initially excited about it, stay with that excitement. Be delusional with me. Go as far as you can with that idea and execute on it and put it out. I think one theme that has been constant during this podcast is A, be consistent, B, make content that you enjoy, and C, just put the content out there. I was taking a look at some of my TikToks over the last 2023, over the last year, and there are some TikToks that I forget that I did that are hidden 1,000, 2,000 number views right now. I put those out in like March and they're still doing numbers. Like that wasn't a snapshot of the last 30 days. That wasn't the entire year. That was the last snapshot of the 30 days of video. So when we say put the content out, 
that's what we mean. You never know what situation in the world is going to happen that the topic so aligned to the thing that you posted about two years ago. It could pop off. You had never know. If you are a longtime listener of this podcast or if this is your first time listening, I want to make this abundantly clear. This is my mindset and this is the way I view the world. And this is the way I would encourage others to view the world as well. But here it is. I believe that I am capable of anything I put my mind to. Anything. And with that mindset, along with being delusional and looking at events as something to learn from and to gain positivity from, 2024 is going to be one of the greatest years for my content creation career ever. And I cannot wait. So I will leave you with this. I think one thing that has really a few things, and I will go over all of these. I'm going to start pumping out the TikToks. I want to get this information out there because I want to help people the way that it helped me. One thing that helped me get to this place of growth mindset, being present during the day is acknowledging and realizing the way that I talk to myself. So I would encourage you to do the same. This first month of the year, January 2024, just pay attention to the way you talk to yourself. I'm not saying change it. Just pay attention. Notice the names that you call yourself when you're talking to yourself, either in private or with other people. Notice how you feel about yourself when you make a mistake. Notice how you feel about yourself when you do something amazing. Make sure that you're paying attention to what you think about yourself, because what you think about yourself is all that matters. I'll say that again. What you think about yourself, what you perceive yourself to be is all that matters. Other people's opinions don't matter. What people think about you ultimately don't matter. It's about what you think. Do Are you happy with yourself? Do you love yourself? Are you happy with the content you're putting out? Or can you go to bed at night with the decisions that you have made in regards to your life? Because once you start to believe in yourself, so many things drop to the wayside. Because I believe in myself to the point that I do, negative comments have zero effect on me because they don't exist. Like, they're, those people... Those people's opinions do not matter in the least bit. I allow joy and positivity in my life. Anything else it can go to the wayside. I'm telling you, adopt this mindset. It will change your life for the better. One day we'll go into energy and how the amount of energy you pour into other people should be equal to the amount of energy they pour into you. You don't want any deficits. You don't want to be pouring positive energy into someone and they're constantly pouring negative into you, that causes all types of problems. So yeah, that's it. I I think we're going to call this one a short one, but I encourage everyone listening to this podcast, if you stumble across it later in the year, you can start now. Pay attention to how you talk to yourself. We're not changing anything this month. Next month, we'll, we'll figure out what we can do with the information that we gathered. But this month, just pay attention to the way you talk to yourself. Be nice to yourself. And other than that, again, I cannot wait to show you some of the amazing things that I have planned this next year. Oh, spoiler alert, I plan on putting a group together of just creators who need that that check-in system, that that pat in the back, that just like something that someone to bounce an idea off of. I think having a group of that nature that is fully focused on creating good content, progressing their careers, and diving into the mindset side of content creation would be beneficial for most. It's something that I would want. So I said, why don't I just create it? So I will be doing that. Other than that, I appreciate everyone listening. Thank you. Thank you so much. This podcast has been something, again, that I've dreamed of doing. And until I got to the point where it's like, I should just do it, it didn't exist. And now that I'm here 25 episodes deep on the other side, I am so glad and grateful that I started it. I am excited with the growth that we've had so far, and I am in nothing but awe of what I will be doing with this podcast in the future. I see myself going to events 
and talking on panels. I see myself having a conference and inviting other creators to learn more about the mindset stuff that I have been learning and will be teaching soon enough. I hope you feel my excitement. I hope you understand that, again, once I start something, it's only up from there. And if you rock with me, if you are a part of my life, if you're a part of my, my creator circle, then know that this is going to rub off on you as well. If we talk to each other and you got a project coming up and you're starting to like waver, hit me up because you, you will be getting that project done. Simple as that. Other than that, if you know anyone who could benefit from content like this and more in the form of a podcast, please share this podcast with them. Upload it and unfiltered. We talk about the things that most people talk about in group chats, but on the microphone. <laughs> Other than that, I appreciate you as always. I will talk to y'all in the next one. Protect your mental, keep creating content, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>